going on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing you another figure review today we are taking a look at the wwe mattel elite fan takeover x Pac nw action figure the fan takeover line is exclusive to amazon.com so that is the only place you're going to find these figures i originally pre-ordered these way back when when they first dropped uh, i did get randy orange ship first um the rest of the wave got delayed so x Pac, johnny gargano and christian they're supposed to ship like mid-June. They got them in early, so they are starting to come out now. And they are actually are up on Amazon for, I guess, maybe another pre-order saying they're going to ship in a few more weeks. But I think this line will eventually be plentiful. I mean, we did see that with um, the first wave. I know uh, Adam Cole was one that was in and out of stock for a while, and now he seems to be pretty easy to get at retail price. So hang tight. Um, don't go crazy and overpay on the secondary market unless you're really impatient. Uh, but I will say, don't sleep on these. I feel this X-Pac is going to be a hot seller. Uh, to be transparent with you guys, I bought five of them. Um, and no, I'm not a huge X-Pac fan. I mean, I'm, you know, he's one of my favorites. But he's not like a Hollywood Hogan, who's my all-time favorite, which I bought a ton of. But he does come with the cloth uh, sleeveless NWO shirt, the two sweet hands. I have a huge NWO display, so I figured, hey, these are great to have as extras. I'm probably going to sell the extra uh, Xbox, maybe in a Facebook group or um, on eBay. But, you know, don't sleep on this. This is the, really the first time we're getting the cloth NWO shirt in this form. I know the Ultimate Hollywood uh, got the, the tank, but that tears away in the front. And uh, John Cena, the ringside exclusive version, came with that t-shirt NWO shirt. But the sleeveless one uh, was one that a lot of the guys wore, so I did want extras. And that's why I went ahead and picked up some uh, uh, five Xbox for the collection. But looking at the figure in the box, you get the beautiful blue and gold uh, design. You got the image of X-Pac. Uh, take a look at the size of close-up, as well as uh, the further away image. On the back, you get the other tires that you could have voted for. Uh, the one two three kid and X-Factor uh, uh, gear design and the NWO one. Personally, I'm a sucker for NWO. I know the WWE run wasn't the greatest at all, but you know what? I... I just like the look of this gear on, on Pac when he came back. Um, you get a look at the other figures in the wave. And we're going to come back and get X-Pac out of the packaging. So here we got X-Pac out of the packaging. I'm, I am personally very happy with how this figure came out. Uh, Mattel did a great job. But jumping right into it, let's look at the accessories. So you do get a bunch of interchangeable hands. You do get two mic holding hands. You get two open hands, crotch chopping hands if you want them to do the sucker pose. And of course, he comes with the two sweet hands, which is definitely a huge seller for me. Uh, again, will go great with uh, other NWO members if you have on your shelf. You do get the cloth sleeveless NWO shirt, as well as this bandana, which is removable. Comes off very easily. If you want to get a look at that, it's a nice detail. Kind of similar to what we've seen with some Undertaker figures in the past. Uh, looks to be maybe a little bigger. Actually, you know what? This may be about the same size as the Boneyard Undertaker bandana. Um, and taking a look at the scan, I absolutely love this. This is probably the first X-Pac uh, figure without the bandana. We did get the 123 Kid. Um, obviously, didn't wear the bandana, but for his X-Pac, 6-Pac uh, look, uh, this is the first without the sculpted bandana underneath the hair. It looks really good. And we're moving the shirt in the back. Velcro's in very easily. You can take a look at the shirt itself. Very iconic. Um, he's got the... Rip torso, you got the NWO shorts on the side with the logos, the white trim around the band. Looks very good. And this is just a clean looking figure. It's very simple, but the black and white with the NWO logos really does pop. You look at the nice tattoo on the shoulder. Just looks very good. I'm very happy with this figure. And uh, let's bring in a few other X-Pac figures for some comparisons. So as I said, we did get a one, two, three kid. And you can see kind of the uh, evolution of the character. Um, this was the other head scan that we've seen a few times. The one with the tongue out and the molded bandana. And of course, the WCW six Pac. And look at how far Mattel's come. I mean, little details like this. I do like we're starting to get more cloth shirts versus what the rubber shirts were for back then. And I get the flap shirt worked and you got the, the six Pac six ball on the back for the which was an iconic shirt for the time in wcw but i mean if you want to remove the shirt this figure did actually come with the cruiserweight title which i do have for my display so 
the second coming of the NW Xbox was kind of a uh, mesh version of the uh, DX Xbox and Six Pac. But if you want to get a close look at the head scans, I mean, that's how the Pac heads line up. I like this new head a lot. And I mean, again, I always say this if you want to see how far we've come. Look at the 123 kit head, man. Just not bad for its time, but definitely not as accurate as this. I mean, this new X Pac head scan just looks spot on to me, man. Just love the true effects. Sculpting the hair, absolutely in love with this figure. Let's come back and I'll bring in some more NWO guys. So just for fun, I threw in some uh, NWO members from the revised faction uh, in the WWE run that, you know, didn't really last long, wasn't that strong, but uh, you got X-Pac, you got a basic Kevin Nash, and we have the WrestleMania 18 Scott Hall, as well as a custom Shawn Michaels. That was um, that referee Shawn Michaels from the Toys R Us series, just threw... Uh, one of the NWO shirts from X-Pac, as you can see, they really do fit great on a lot of figures. So definitely will plus up your NWO collection. Threw on a little Triple H uh, beanie. And just for fun, why not? He was in there for, what, one day until he got super kicked out of the group. So you can see the shirt does fit really nice on Booker T as well. And another reason, not part of that faction, but... I did throw that shirt on my Ultimate Hollywood Hogan. Uh, the two sweet hands, the skin tone is slightly different, but uh, it definitely works um, if you want to put that on Hollywood. And just to give you an idea how the shirt looks, it looks nice and snug. I really do like how that looks on the Ultimate Edition figure. Taking a look at the back. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap here with the weight belt. Um, maybe not so much, but it is uh, looking pretty nice on this figure. And uh, you can put the NWO weight belt right over it. Uh, so this is a Jack's weight belt. I, the regular uh, Ultimate Edition belt should fit over it as well. But just to give you kind of an idea of what it looks like on this figure, uh, let's come back with some final thoughts. And I totally almost screwed this up. Sorry, I forgot to mention this figure also does come with the cane mask, which was used in a skit uh, on Raw. Uh, you can see the nice detailing on there. This mask actually does fit on X-Pac if you want to see how that looks just to give you an idea. And removing that, we can get the bandana back on. So I have not tried this on camera yet, but I do have Deck of the Domination Cane. We're gonna remove the mask and see how this kind of fits on there. It actually fits pretty nicely. It looks a little big compared to this mask. But I mean, if you want to throw this on another cane figure, it's a little loose. But, I mean, it could work. It's it's not accurate to this figure, but if you just want to do some kind of mashups or some customs or if you got a fig fed or something going, the mask does work. So I'm glad I remembered to pop that back in. Sorry for missing that again. But, you know, wrapping up with this X-Pac figure, personally, I think this is one of the best. I absolutely love the skin. I hope to see it reused on maybe another six-pac figure or maybe even that X-Pac with the that red and white and black attire that was pretty iconic. I would love to see this uh, kind of repainted and retooled on that. But, you know, I definitely highly recommend this figure. The Like I said, the accessories alone to me, I'm a huge NWO Mark WCW fan, so I'm already putting these shirts on other figures I have in my display. Uh, I know it's a lot to drop 20 bucks, but you know what? Resell some of the parts you don't want on eBay. I'm probably going to throw the figure body and some of the other hands on there. And, you know, you make a little money back, but you, you're only spending a couple bucks for some shirts, maybe some two sweet hands. If you want to keep the bandana, definitely worth it. I do think he's going to be a hot seller. Um, I mean, if I'm doing it, I'm sure a lot of people are doing the same buying just for this, the t-shirt itself. So again, if you do want this figure, it is exclusive to Amazon. Um, highly recommend it. Definitely go purchase it. At least one. I know this isn't really an iconic era of the NWO, but hey, it's NWO, man. You guys got to buy everything because it's for life. Uh, before you guys go, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more great content. And follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Take care, guys, and keep collecting.